Loveland Magazine TV videos are brought to you by the generous support of MoveToLoveland.com. Hello, Loveland Magazine viewers. Cassie Mattia here for another episode of Cassie the Food Guru. Now, I am really excited today because we are with Chanika, the owner of Teak Thai and Sushi over here in Loveland. I am so excited because, of course, being vegan, a place like this coming into downtown makes me really, really happy. How you doing, Chanika? Good, wonderful, thank you. Nice Thanks for be being here, really appreciate it. Nice so um, I do wanna to touch a little bit on your history, right? So you kind of came up with the concept in 1990s, right? Um, yes. From what I read, and it was over in the historic um, Mount Adams area. Okay. So uh, let me ask this, um, one of my most, I guess, important questions that I wanna ask you is how did you come up with this? Like what made you want to open this restaurant? Yeah, uh, Loveland actually it reminds me of old Mount Adams. Uh, I love Mount Adams. I used to have four businesses there. So we moved Teak to OTR exactly four years ago. Then when I saw here, I thought, oh, this is going to be great. So this is uh, actually the city of Loveland. Uh, all the guests being wonderful to us and we are a little busier than I thought going to be. I tell you what, you're really busy. Um, and so, yeah, if you guys want to come here, make sure you make a reservation. We'll tell you about that later. But so one of the things I read, which was really cool, is you were among one of the first authentic Thai restaurants in the tri-state. Yes. That's yeah, pretty we cool. We didn't have that many Thai restaurants those days. So. Yeah. And then I also read for 10 years, you were named Cincinnati's best Asian cuisine, yes. best sushi and best Thai. Yes. That's that's a lot of accolades. That's yeah. pretty cool. How did how did that make you feel, you know, coming into, you know, a new area, you know, like Mount Adams? Um, I know that you're over in OTR now, but how did that make you feel just receiving those accolades for that many years? Well, that's due to my staff. I have Amen. a great staff. Uh, actually, the chef here worked for me since 2001. Oh, my gosh. So I brought him here because uh, he take care of everything I need to. Yeah. Now... Shanika, what, what is your background? Because I, I can tell you kind of have that business aura about you. Like you're like, Let, let's go, you're a go-getter. So kind of tell me about your background. And I did see a picture of your beautiful wife too. Oh, and what, yeah, she's, she's very have, beautiful. Uh, three daughters, my wife, Saran, I've known her for 30 some years. Oh my gosh. Um, I uh, actually, uh, uh, it's a fun business. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a lot of work. Um, so it's actually, uh, I, I came to Cincinnati in 1982 and I went to UC, I was an accountant for a short time. In 1999, me and my wife, we didn't have any children yet, so we right. thought there was a restaurant called Mount Island Fish House went on sale, so I was like, all right, let's buy this and see how it is, just as part time. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't work like that. <laughs> so right. I ended up quitting my job and uh, then then Teague, then Celestial to Longwoods. So we had a lot of fun in Mount Adams. It's a wonderful neighborhood. So Loveland downtown reminds me of uh, Mount Adams. Yeah, it, so. and it does for me too. I get it, just the history. I mean, it's been around forever. Um, so then, you know, fast forward, you opened uh, Teak OTR in 2020 and then here in 2023. So with Teak OTR, did, did you open a, a, a location there because of the similarities to, to Mount Adams or w was there a different reason for that? I know it's a big college area, big business professional area. Mount Adams used to be very busy. Mm. Then. Um, after 2012, 13, that time, it, Mount Adam was starting to get very slow. We had some issues. So then OTR was coming up. Mm -hmm. So I decided to move from uh, Mount Adams to OTR. We do have another restaurant in Oakley also called okay. Rosewood. It's the same menu, but according to my lease, OTR, I cannot name it uh, Teak. So. Gotcha. Okay. But, but it's the same menu, menu yeah. same pricing. Yeah. Okay. Everything. Okay. Awesome. Now, I love a mission statement. That's one of my favorite things. So I always like to read those off. So yours being, Teak Loveland's mission is to serve authentic Thai cuisine and sushi with a modern, healthy twist that will appeal to today's dining palate. I love that. I love a modern twist. I love healthy. So you have a variety of Asian cuisine specializing in sushi and Thai. So I guess one of my biggest things is, you know, I've, I've lived over those in those apartments for like eight years, like I'm a lifer at this point. So one of my main questions here is why this type of cuisine to Loveland? And obviously I know now why you picked the location, but why this type of cuisine? What, what kind of spoke to you about Loveland? Obviously it's missing in this community. 
Well, it's, uh, I try to concentrate last four or five years on only the Thai and sushi restaurants. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, before that, I had the seafood and steaks. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it fits Loveland because we don't have anything similar to what we have here. Yeah. And I try to keep the price point low as we can. Sometimes my chef get on my case, say, oh, you have to raise Stop. this, that, and I'm like, nah, we make decent money by the way we are doing it, so I like to keep it that way. And I want to make it an everyday restaurant, not just special occasion. Special, yeah. Or, and, that, and I'm glad you said that because one of the first things I noticed when I came here, the prices were affordable and the cuisine was almost on that fine dining level, but with great pricing and you get a ton of food. If you eat everything, you're going to go into a coma afterwards. So I always, I always bring mine home and eat it for the next two days. So the portion sizes, thank you. I love that. So I want to kind of touch on the menu. You have apps, soup, salads, um, a lot of different main categories. I saw that you have everything in categories, which I love. It's a very organized menu. So you have Thai fried rice options, noodles, vegetable stir fry. And then what I really like is you can substitute proteins because I'm a tofu girl, obviously. Yeah. So I really like that. And I like the spices or the seasonings you use on it. I don't know what it is, but it's completely different. So talk to me a little bit about the menu. Um, you know, maybe like you said you had a chef that's been here since 2001. So tell me how you came up with the menu items and just tell me about the recipes. Are they unique? Did you make them up? Or are they kind of just a part of that Thai traditional type food? I, it is Thai traditional food. Mm -hmm. What we try to do to elevate that to the best quality we can get. Um, we basically, I mean, we have nine different soy sauces in, in the house. Uh, I don't like to cut corners when it comes to the preparation or the sauces. Sauces mm -hmm. are very important. We don't pre-cook anything mm -hmm. except pork belly, which we have to roast in advance. Um, so I think that makes a big difference. Uh, a lot of people tell me when uh, coconut milk went way up on price and, you know, use less. I'm like, no, I mean, it's a, then it doesn't taste like that. Right. So we keep the re recipes. At the same time, uh, I study a lot the new trends, new sauces. Uh, pork belly became very popular about five, six years ago. When we were in Mount Islands, we didn't have pork belly. We had mm -hmm. pork loin and it didn't sell much. Right. So when we moved downtown, we started using pork belly. Okay. Uh, th little things like that, I think they add it up. Now, do you have that one chef or multiple chefs? I have multiple chefs. Okay, Actually, I was hoping that. I'm like, you, you're busy. <laughs> each, each place have a head chef. Um, we actually overstaff in the kitchen. I like it that way that they're not overworked. Mm -hmm. um, even downtown, the, the guy who cooked downtown, Pad Thai, been with me for 25 years. Wow. So that's all he does. So um, the staffing, I think, probably my biggest asset. And that attests to you, to have somebody that's been there for 25 years, like you clearly take care of your people, which that's that's what Loveland is. You'll, you'll go to other restaurants around here and they're like, yeah, I've worked here for 30 years. Like, it's just the way it is. So you yeah. definitely fits in with the culture. Um, the other thing that I really like about Teak is I counted because I'm a great mathematician. No, I'm not. But you have 82 different rolls slash sashimi on the menu. That's crazy. <laughs> and you have vegan ones, yeah, which I'm choices. very happy about. So we do a lot of choices. Yeah. So so tell me about that. And you know, obviously, do, do you make everything on the spot back yes. there? Okay. So tell me a little bit about that, and tell me about the people that do that. Are they do they specialize in sushi? Is that their thing? Yes. Uh, I have a. Actually, the head chef uh, in downtown also worked here two days. He be a, he works here Wednesday and Saturday too. So I rotate them to make sure they're all on the same quality. Gotcha. Uh, and we don't pre-make anything, so that makes and we buy good sea, uh, seafood. A um, couple of Japanese companies from Chicago and another seafood company from Cleveland. They import and they deliver six days a week, mm -hmm. so we keep it fresh. I love that because sometimes if you pre-make it, it's like the rice gets kind of hard and That's it's just it, it's just not good. Awesome. So I clearly have some recommendations on the menu because I feel like, you know, at this point, I'm a veteran. I've been here a million times since you've been 
embarrassingly enough, I've been here like twice every week since you've opened. So, you know, but um, so the apps that I love, the lettuce wraps with tofu, absolutely brilliant. Uh, the spring rolls, oh my gosh brilliant uh the soups the vegetable soup and the miso soup and i okay the seaweed salad i am addicted to that i don't know what it is i never knew i liked seaweed until i tried that that is so good so what i want to ask you what are some of your most popular items that you've kind of noticed um both locations if you want and then um do you have any favorites that you recommend new guests try uh it depends on if you're not familiar with Thai food. Mm -hmm. I would uh, start with something like Siam chicken or shrimp vegetables. It's a little basic. It's uh, that's a good start. Fried rices are a good start, but then you can slowly elevate to the other dishes. Okay, and so I know you have the spice level system, right? Yeah. What what's a safe bet for people if they're not if they don't know Thai yet? Because I know some people are like, oh yeah, I'm good with spicy. I'll do a three or four, <laughs> and then they get it and they're like, ah. <laughs> You know, it, it's listed from zero to ten for a reason. Yeah. So don't order five uh, if you are not, you know, used to uh, Thai spicy food. But some dishes starts at three because of the ingredients mm -hmm. we use, especially like curries. It, it's by the time we make the sauce, it's at a spicy three already. Right. But if you can't handle any spice, don't even go the curry route. But most of the other dishes you, we can order without any spice. Right. Uh, I would, if you're not used to it, I, I would get some spices on the side. Oh yeah, that's And a good idea. order one or two. Okay. Can I ask what spice level do you get? I'm just curious. I I grew up with hot spicy food. Right. But my max is five. Ooh. After that, I cannot taste any. Yeah, you start sweating. That's max. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Um, so some of my favorite menu items, and I've had a lot, I love the vegetable Thai spicy, really good. Um, the red, green, yellow, and Masamon curry, I'm obsessed with the curries. The yellow curry, I almost can't get anything else but that. And I think it's the cauliflower. I'm sure you use coconut milk in that. Yeah. It's, it's just, oh, brilliant. And then in addition to that, I love the mango and tango sushi roll, um, the vegetable roll, and the three amigos. Yeah. That one's really interesting. Um, so. I know a lot of people don't do vegan and vegetable uh, rolls, sushi rolls. So what was your thought process behind that, just to kind of include everybody? And I think it's to open up the restaurant for a uh, lot more mm. guests. Uh, there's a lot of people like to be vegetarian, even if they're not vegetarian mm -hmm. sometimes. So we thought it's better for us to have a lot more choices, creative choices, than just a vegetable roll. Right. And it goes with your mission statement, too, that healthy, you know, modern twist, which, I mean, now the other thing that I like is your drink menu. <laughs> your you. drink menu is good. And I'm very picky because I don't like super sweet stuff. Uh, kind of hurts my stomach getting older, you know. Um, so how did you come up with the drink menu? Did you work with a mixologist or how did that I work? I work with a lot of my staff. Uh, then we, we definitely wanted to go healthy level. So we make all the purees in-house in with fresh fruits. Mm. So that's number one. Right. Um, otherwise, if you buy, buy some syrups, it's too much sugar. It doesn't taste good as it does. Now. Right. So even passion fruit, you get the, try to get the fresh passion fruit much as we can, mm. and they, all the fruits are fresh fruits. Now, do you have a favorite on the menu, drink-wise? Well, I'm a more of a... <laughs> Uh, wine and a beer drink. I don't drink much liquor, but I, I taste every bit of it to come up with the right one. Um, I like the ma our margaritas. Oof, yeah, yeah. Now, is there a popular one that you're like, oh my gosh, this one's off the charts. I can't, I can't I keep teak, all the ingredients. <laughs> I think teak tea is very popular. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, that is a good yeah. one. Um, so the ones that I've tried that I really like, this one was the first one I tried, the spicy pineapple martini. And the watermelon martini and the teak margarita. Yeah. It is just enough spice and the jalapenos in it. Yeah. So good. So this is a pretty generic question, but I'm just curious as to what your thought is. What sets Teak apart from other Thai restaurants in the area? You know, meaning like Cincinnati, you know, all, all around here. Uh, one thing I, I always tell my staff, good service is good service. Mm. It doesn't matter what kind of restaurant you go. So I concentrate a lot on it. I have good staff, so they listen, they take care of the guests. 
And the other thing, we don't cut corners on food, food quality. Mm. So, um, that's a no-no. Yeah, yeah. That's it. And both of those things, I mean, I know I'll come back to a place, even if the food is mediocre, I'll come back if it has a great staff. Yeah, the other difference uh, compared to a lot of, I'm not criticizing anybody, no, but we have not. a very good wine list, good cocktail list, mm -hmm. try to have all the liquors that anybody would like mm -hmm. to have. So we concentrate a lot on all those choices. And that does set you guys apart because I've been to pretty much every Thai restaurant in the area and it's either they don't have any drinks, alcoholic beverages, or they just have very, very generic Americanized ones. Yeah. So I, I appreciate that. <laughs> um, so one thing I want to ask and um, kind of to wrap things up, do you have any exciting futures or future plans for Teak, such as, you know, maybe adding new things to the menu or, you know, doing more locations or maybe branching out and doing a, a different type of cuisine? Oh, I'm getting old, so I don't know. <laughs> I, you wouldn't come in here, my kids were like, oh, that's too much for you. Yeah. But they've been very helpful. Um, and uh, I don't know if I get a good location, uh, I'm, I will think about it. Yeah. But I'm pretty busy with the three locations we have. So maybe some MS and Westchester. Yeah, hey, that's <laughs> hey, that's a that's a good idea. Um, so I want to go over, you know, your hours. You're closed on Mondays, just like everybody else around here is, because it's dead in <laughs> in most areas on Mondays. Um, Tuesday through Thursday, you do lunch, 11:30 to 2:30, close for a little bit, and then do dinner 4 to 9 or 9:30, and then Friday you do the lunch, and then 4 to 10 instead for dinner, and then Saturday and Sunday noon to 10 p.m. or Sunday 12 to 9 p.m. So you can find all that on teakloveland.com. Um, now reservation wise, you can call or you have a platform where you can do that. I believe open it's open table. table. Yep, yep. They and can go through our website, uh, teakloveland.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have something else coming too for Loveland. We'll have a special lunch menu Ooh. from Tuesday through Friday. Oh, heck yeah. Now when is that gonna launch? Maybe a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks? You better let me know. I, 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 I wanna be over here. <laughs> it's a sm little smaller portion. Yep. Uh, because a lot of people don't want to buy the whole dinner portion yeah, you'll and pass the out price in the of price the day. point will be a lot less <laughs> yeah. yeah if i ate that in the middle of the day yeah i get, I get that um and then the number is 513-583-8325 we will put that in the article as well um so the last question i always ask um pretty much any anybody that i do interviews with is is there anything else you would like to say to the Loveland community, share with them, voice to them? Um, typically, I like to think that that's the audience right there. So yeah. anything you want to say to the Loveland community? Well, you've been extremely supportive. I greatly appreciate your support. And without you, we, there's no success. So if there's anything uh, not right, feel free to give, send me an email. It's on the website, and we'll take care of it. Awesome. Love that. Very, very support. And we're happy we're, you're Thank here, you. believe especially me. <laughs> um, now, once again, Teak is located in the heart of downtown Loveland, literally by all the other restaurants across the street from City Hall. So definitely come out. And um, I can't wait for that lunch menu. I'm excited. Um, I highly recommend this restaurant. And uh, thanks so much for tuning in today. Thank you for having Thank us. You. I really thanks appreciate it. Me. Yes, Thank no you. problem. All right, Loveland. We'll see you next time. Loveland Magazine TV videos are brought to you by the generous support of MoveToLoveland.com. Please like and subscribe to the Loveland Magazine YouTube channel so you never miss a new video.